morning guys it's May 9th 2023 this one here I got a call from one of the gate daycares I work for um, one of the units in the office is leaking and I know it's got a new it's got a new um, Goodman condenser on it but it's got an old R22 coil up in the attic in a uh, first company unit which is heat and air and it's I got a call from the electrician yesterday the thing was all iced up so we shut it off last night and it's for the office area so they need the AC I'm gonna go over there I'm gonna have to put some gas in it I know when the condenser was changed we talked about you know replacing both units and if you wanted to just do a condenser on the outside for now to kick the can down the road type of thing and I think it's been in a couple of years. I know that the filters are clean because the maintenance guy changes the filters every month because it's a school. So that shouldn't be an issue unless it's a problem with the fan not working. It would ice. It would ice up with that, right? Uh, we'll have to go over there and make sure all that, that's working. And it's probably low on gas. I'm thinking it's probably got a leaking coil inside. Well, one of the piping somewhere. It's an older system with a newer condenser. Well, you gotta do what the, you gotta do what the uh, customer wants, you know. You just can't say, oh, let's just replace everything and they don't want to pay for it. Anyway, I'm gonna go over there see if we can get it up and running for them. It's not that hot out today, but uh, be able to get it working for them. It's an office area, so you, you can't be without the AC, right? It's not there, 67, so we're going to have to put it lower just to check it. Is the one you let it pull there. This was a burnout. I put a put our gauges on it, see what we're doing. Wow, look at how dirty it is. They don't clean this shit. I tell them they gotta clean it. It's a flipping fur coat. Look at that. Unbelievable. That's gotta be cleaned. Look how nasty it is. Wow. Not good. You know, a hose connection here, we could hose it off. Uh oh, you can see all that kind of water run out for outside there. I mean, this guy got the. I had a call him. He's got the cap. He's coming. Can't turn it on until that's. Uh, whoa. It's full of water. Clean that hold that coil off. This one don't look so bad, it's just that one. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm using that one more. This one don't look bad. That one over there don't look bad. It's just this one that's really really filthy. I don't know why. Odd. This side's filthy too. I'm gonna give it a good douche. Well, now we can turn the water back on. Hopefully it's all right. Oh. All right, so you gotta keep an eye on these coils. You can't yeah. let them get like this. This is a problem. I mean, not the best way of doing it, but we gotta gotta clean it. Ridiculous. When I drove in last night. The traffic was awful. What was it? The traffic. Oh, from Boston. Coming from uh, from North Carolina. 
Well, actually, from Maryland. Oh, you drove, you drove down. Yeah, we drove down. Yeah, we drive down and we drive down. Oh, so you had a lot of traffic in Maryland? We stopped in Maryland. Wow, this thing is bad. Um, I was late. I was late. Were you late? Yeah, right. That thing's really... I don't know why this one, so this one must run a lot more than the other ones, huh? Which, which one is this one? This is the office. Is it the office? Yeah. It was iced up yesterday. Oh, I gotta right. clean it really good. But... Yeah, Dave shut it off for me. Well, yeah, I guess you need a car down there, right? So you drive back. Yeah, Crazy. Uh... So you can't run this thing unless you clean it like this, okay? Yeah. You've got to check them all. All, all, all the, the different ones. You can't. You're going to kill it. You don't want to do that, right? No. That's what they call Pennywise and Dollar Foolish. What might have happened was you might have had so, the pressure was so high in the system it blow the coil. It's an old coil in there, remember? The last one? This is an old coil. We we just changed the condenser. We didn't change the inside coil, remember? Flipping bad. What do you call a fur coat on there? Yeah. Really bad. I wonder why it's so much worse than all the other ones. Probably because they, they use it all the time, right? This is the office. Really bad. Nuts. How's the traffic in Florida? They say it's pretty bad down there. They be driving. They'll get a red light and they'll go through it. Like five times they'll go through it. Through a red light? Yeah. So when you get a green light, you get a, you get a green piece that you can take off. But actually it's down there. It's every day they're driving. Oh, they're all old. They're all old as dirt. They're bastards, right? Yeah, a lot of them. And they think they're on the road. They go right through the red light. Oh yeah, they go right through the red light like four or five times. <laughs> so you got. Wow, this thing's this thing's flipping bad, John. Crazy. Yeah, I finally got a new truck. I needed it bad. Too, no, I'm not. I'm not doing a diesel again. Too many problems. Yeah. When they get old, they break down, and it's very just expensive effect, right? very expensive. Even my mechanic, that my old mechanic, said, "Don't get a get a gas one because all this new pollution shit they got on there yeah. makes it even worse." All right, so before you run any of the ACs and any of these, you got to make sure that they're clean like this. I mean, it's not it's not rocket science. If she's too cheap to pay me. Why don't you do it? You got to at least make sure that they're clean. All them other ones in the back are probably like this too, you know. Probably. I mean, what's how long's it been since you cleaned them? A couple of years. All, right, all you got to do is go along and look at them, and if they're dirty, you got to clean them. I'll just hose all of them down, even if they look clean. Well, down. like over here, this one's this one's a little little screwed up too. As long as you get some of that shit off of there, they got to breathe, right? Yeah. This one looks pretty good, or it doesn't? Not really. Yeah, you gotta go around and do them all, John. This one's a little screwed up, too. If you don't, you're just gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill the system. Yeah, I'm just gonna hook up the gauges on this thing. See what it's doing. 
to charge my tablet, so it shouldn't be an issue there with that. See, we got pressure in it, so no, this is 410A. It's a 410A condenser, I think. Or is it a 22 one? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the tag. I think it's 410. I think I just changed the piston upstairs. Yeah, it's 410A. All right, we'll start it up and we'll see what it's gonna do. Our suction line's gonna be above 100. Our suction line's gonna be above 100. Oh no. There's not a big load in our building. it up so if this drops down below 100 we're going to ice we're going to keep an eye on this right here if this starts dropping really low we got a problem with the fan upstairs all right looking bad right there as long as this don't start dropping crazy amount, see this is dropping a little, this suction, that goes below 100, might be an issue. See how this is dropping, on 410A. See it? We could add some gas to it, we'll let it run a bit. Forget there's not really a big load in the building today. Filters are clean. This ain't looking too bad here. One oh one oh three. I'll superheat at twenty six. Bring that super heat down. It's a cold, it's a cold day. That should be down probably around five or so, six, something like that. I'm gonna put some gas in it. See our super heat at 27? On a day like this that's cold and there's no load, it's gonna be lower than that. I'm gonna tip this upside down. AZ, AZ20. Alright, we're gonna give it a little, a little bit of juice. I'm gonna give it a little, how you doing? I'm gonna bring our soup heat down a little bit. I've seen it iced up the other day. I'm gonna bring this super heat down a little bit. Give it a little bit more. Here's the 
picture he sent me of it iced up. I don't know if you can see the suction line, how it was iced. We're getting, a, we're giving a little higher doing, bringing this, bringing the suction pressure up and the superheat down. Kind of a long run. Uh, the unit's on the second floor, so. It's a piston, so. See, we're at 113 now on the suction, which is better than 100. That's better. Sub coolant's around 9. Our soup heat's dropping. That's what we want to see right there. No load in the building. Superheat of five or so will be fine. That's better. Let it run and see where we stable out. We stable out at. Uh, Superheat at 7, uh, suction at 112, which is above 100, 410. That's fine. We're going to leave it right there. Just leave it a little higher doing. Three pounds. Unknown caller. Three pounds. <laughs> 